Hello folks and welcome. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I'm going to be talking about a advanced video today, medium to advanced video. I'm going to be talking about um, using script files or a script file to sync up two folders to another hard drive for an automated process of backups. And I'm going to be using rsync for this process. I'll explain a little bit about rsync and some of the common commands or a common command I should say and uh, walk you through that process if you are wanting to do that. If this is not your cup of tea, of course, skip over this video. If you are wanting to uh, learn something about this, I do recommend that you watch the video in its entirety. Highly recommend it, actually. Um, and use caution, of course. But more importantly, if you are wanting to learn some of this stuff, uh, I do recommend that you watch the video in its entirety. None of my videos on my new channel are under two minutes, but all of them have chapters or timelines. I do encourage that you subscribe so you can watch this if you don't have uh, time in one setting to watch the video. At, at a worst case scenario, at least bookmark this. But in either case, folks, welcome. So I'm going to right click on my panel bar and get this out of the way. System information. Linux Mint 21.1 Cinema. Now, you may have heard some of the naysayers out there that say, oh, well, you know, Linux Mint does not do any, any kind of medium to advanced stuff. Well, I beg to differ. So I'm going to talk about a couple of, well, actually, I have several scripts in here, but I'm only going to talk about that one today. So I wrote a script in here. That's pretty simple to do. You hit the plus custom command, and I'll show you the pencil. It's just a name, and the command is located in my home folder under documents, under scripts, under that uh, subfolder and it's called doc backup. I'll show you the script in a minute. It's just the name I gave it. Um, sometimes when you're writing scripts also I would uh, probably do yourself a favor and write in comments to at least give you what type of description that it does. Uh, but I left mine off. Startup delays of course are your optional and anytime you put a delay on anything in this folder, again this folder is your startup applications, uh, it performs all the ones without delays first, and then it starts looking at the time frame. So that one runs at 27 seconds. I can also turn it off. So during the next reboot, it won't even perform this. Or I can actually force it too. And you can also remove it. All right, so I'm going to actually use the run now command here in a little bit after I explain all this. So I'm going to open up my file manager. Uh, my icon is different from yours, but this is Nemo, your file manager. So I have this video folder and this documents folder that I'm going to sync up to this hard drive called Backup NVMe One. So my current booted in drive is a solid state drive and so is this thing over here, my backup hard drive. So basically it's making copies of this and that into this subfolder for this one and also for this one. Sorry, I didn't mean to mount that one, this one right here. So um, what is in here? What does LFS stand for anyways? Linux for seniors. If you have not seen any of my videos, by the way, uh, I started this project in the middle of February. I'm already up to this many videos. Each one of these folders is a video. So I got quite a few as one would say. I highly encourage that you subscribe, read my about section, and also jump over to the community tab and scroll to the bottom on how to do keyword searches on my YouTube site. All right, so the reason I brought you into this folder here, this backup NVMe videos LFS backup, was to let you see there's only one text file in here. And what I'm going to do is add a text file in here and then use that script process and have it synced into this one. Okay, we're good to go there so far? Okay. So where's the script and what does it look like? Well, script is right here. So that's what it looks like. It's nothing really stupendous and again, it's using rsync. I'll talk about that in a second. So these are just different derivatives of rsync. And um, I do highly encourage that if you are using rsync is to go look those commands up on the internet to get all the different dashes and the derivatives of what you can do with rsync. But in, in essence, this is my home folder documents and my home folder videos that it's gonna sync up to this uh, MVME drive, this backup hard drive. So that's all these are doing. 
When you create these script files, make sure that the properties are set for ex allowing execute, executing as a program. Okay, so that's my simple script file. I have others, but I'm just talking about this one today. There's no private information here. So what is rsync? All right, some of you folks are familiar with it. Maybe some are kind of scratching their head for a second, especially if you're new. So time shift is an application that when you install Linux Mint that it asked you to activate. You had a wizard that started and it asked you questions. First one was, do you want to use rsync? That's exactly what I'm using here. Then the next question usually is um, hard drive and I have many, but and then how many daily backups? Probably the default is five. And then a lot of people hit finish and never look at this. So what this is telling me that it's excluding Bob's home folder, root home folder, T-man home folder, and Mr. Senior home folder. It's not making any backups. Time shift is not backing up any of that stuff. It's only backing up your system. And that's exactly what the tool was designed to do. You can, however, slide this over and include those files. Just be prepared for an enormous amount of backups. And more importantly, if you decide to do that, it will take, um, you'll need to be logged into your system normally for about 10 minutes or so to make a proper backup. And keep in mind, after about a week, you're gonna have five of them. And if you're doing all your folders five times, the backups could be enormous. So that's why this is excluded for most cases. And you know what, it's sufficient. It does work rather well, okay? And I'm gonna hit finish. So these are my system backups. And to obviously use this tool, you would boot into your uh, regular medium, use time shift on your USB or DVD, and then click that and do a restore if you're having problems logging into your system. That's the whole purpose of this thing. But I wanted to point out the fact that it's using rsync. Okay, and that was the whole reason I brought this up. So using that command there, it's running uh, that rsync command to sync up this folder and that folder to the, my backup drive. That's all this thing is doing. And again, depending on what kind of uh, things you put on the end of that thing, it does different functions. That's why I recommend for yourself, for yourself is to look that up on the internet. Look up the uh, commands for rsync. I'm just giving you a quick script here that you can uh, go simulate yourself. So again, that's the name of my drive. And it, uh, did we already perform that? I'm sorry, I, I, I got off on a tangent here. Um, no, I didn't, sorry. So I'm gonna go to my video folder, open this LFS folder up and create a text document. So I'll right click, sorry about that. Forgot all about doing that. So uh, with script files or text files, you don't need extensions. So I can just call that A. I'm gonna open that up and throw some text in there. Test one, test two, it doesn't matter what is in there. I just wanted to throw some te text text in there. So right now I'm going to open that and you agree there's text in there, right? So let me go to this folder just to let you see that it's not in here. Okay, there's just the test file, not A. So now I'm going to walk over to here, grab a hold of that and uh, click that little gearbox. And it runs in the background. It's already finished because both my drives are solid state drives and they're very quick. So basically what it's doing is it says, uh, after I perform that command, it says, okay, was there a change in this folder or that folder? Yes, there was, sync it up to there. And that file should now be in here, and it is. It's the same file. You remember it was over here earlier. And all I, all I did was run that command and it took that folder and checked and resunk everything to here. In essence, it looks for a change, you know, so, the, most of this stuff was already in here, if not all of it, except for that file. Let's put it that way. But you can see you can do that with your, um, your personal folders, whatever is important to you. Maybe your pictures are important to you, you know, that kind of thing. So my folder is, uh, well, for pictures, is 34 gigabytes, just to give you an example. Yeah, I have another script command that actually syncs this one. And I also have many computers too, many hard drives. But whatever is important to you, whether it's documents or in my case, um, these uh, newly created uh, YouTube site called LFS, Linux for Seniors, I back up all the videos 
from this folder to that folder. So I have done two ways in case I lose one of these hard drives. The chances of me losing both of them are pretty slim. But then I also remove these occasionally and put them in a fire safe. I also store them on different computers too. There are many ways to back up stuff, folks. But I'm just showing you one automated way that you could do this through a script file ran out of your startup application folder. That one right there is the one I gave you the example on today. It's pretty simple to do. Create the script file first and then browse for your script file. Give it a name. Uh, you don't have to put a delay, but uh, I have a lot of stuff going on here in the system. So that's the reason I chose my, my delays. Anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.